I'm shocked that so many people still don't know how to use ChatGPT. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of using ChatGPT, everything you need to know. So hit follow and save this video for later. Number one, go to chat.com and log into your ChatGPT account. This is where you type in a prompt. And if you specifically want the prompt to search the internet, if you need real time information, click this button search. If you want AI to produce a super detailed multi-page report on your topic, click deep research. And if you want to use the new ChatGPT image generator, which is really good, especially at creating text-based images or infographics, click create image. And if you want to use the advanced voice mode, click the voice icon on the bottom right here. To change which model you're using, go ahead and click this. You'll see the following options. ChatGPT 4.0 and 4.5 are great for most tasks, but if you have technical or scientific tasks, you'll probably want to use O3 or O4 mini. You'll definitely want to explore custom GPTs. Go ahead and click explore GPTs on the left sidebar. You can think of a custom GPT like an add-on. It does something specific and has extra additional context. So for example, if you search hooks, you'll see a bunch of these custom GPTs to brainstorm viral hooks for your content. This is the one I created. You can also personalize ChatGPT to your preferences by managing the memory. Go ahead and click this button up here, your profile, and go to settings. Click personalization and then click manage memories. So you're going to see all the memories that ChatGPT has based on your conversations. You can add new memories, you can delete memories, and this helps ChatGPT get to know you and personalize its interactions according to your preferences. 